M R K V D. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> this is the rehab center at Northridge Hospital. About the last place you'd expect to find a funk star. How's the dizziness? Like a big Titanic. He looks a lot different now than the way most of us remember him. <laughs> Rick James made his first gold record, You and I, back in 1978. Three years later, he shot to superstardom with the 1981 blockbuster, Super Freak. She's a super freak, super freak, she's super freaking now. You've done a lot, Rick. Yeah, thank you. What a, what a career. Hey, 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 hey. I look at that as accomplishments that I made in life, you know? You I mean, I can look at that stuff and say, yeah, I mean, I really did do something. Lately, that thought's been especially comforting. Yeah. It's been a treacherous couple of months. It was very tough. Was very, very tough. Two and a half months ago, after a concert in Denver, something happened that would change Rick James forever. Yeah, I was just in golfs. Not by pain, but just by um, the loss of control and dizziness. It was unlike anything he'd ever experienced, even during the wildest of times. During the days when I was really drugging a lot of stuff, you know, drinking and drugging them, there were times when I would OD, you know, but this time was really different. There was something about this time that made it exceptional. My brain couldn't tell my feet to function. Three days later, back in Los Angeles, Rick found out why. He suffered the death of a part of his brain. He suffered a brain attack or a stroke. I says, oh no. All right, let's do some of the backwards walking. Have you been practicing? <laughs> it's painful when you, it's painful mentally when you find you're like a child and things that really came natural to you before, like walking or balancing yourself, become really um, kind of like, you know, wow, I can't do that anymore. Rick's stroke happened after he burst an artery in the back of his neck. When the artery broke, blood flow was stopped to areas of his brain responsible for balance, coordination, muscle control, and vision. Once you have damaged those brain cells and once they, have, once they die, they, they do not reproduce themselves. And so what we, uh, what we hope that we will be able to do is to have new pathways to develop and train other areas of the brain to take over. And that's what rehab is all about. It isn't easy. Need a break? Do you need a break or are you okay? You feel really susceptible. You feel really alone. You feel really scared. You feel really frightened. But by all accounts, Rick's progress has been impressive. He's been blessed with such a determination and so much courage. Um, to withstand everything that he's been through. Not to mention the long, hard road that lies ahead, along with physical therapy three times a week. Rick is undergoing occupational therapy to get his mind and his body working in sync again. Does it feel good? Does it feel easy? Mm -hmm. Smooth? Most important thing is keeping a positive attitude. And most important is looking at his current level of function and realize that it is not quite the same as it was prior to the stroke but it's improving, and it's improving every day. Dr. William Young says because he's had one stroke, Rick's now at an increased risk of having another, one that could kill him or leave him profoundly disabled. A 1993 prison sentence for drug-related assault charges brought an end to Rick's notorious drug use. But he admits there were other vices he needed to abandon. I mean, I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. I can't eat fried foods. So chicken's out, southern fried chicken. And the colonel is like out the door. So, how does a man with such decadent appetite stay on the straight and narrow? Well, one thing about Rick is he wants to live. I mean, I don't want to die anymore. I mean, there was a time when I, I think I had a death wish, you know? And, um, I never wanted to go out like this. All right, Alan, okay. let's see if you got any, uh, okay. Minnesota facts on you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Rick's got a new movie coming out in April, a wife he adores, and a six-year-old son he plans to finish raising. As for the future, first thing on my agenda is to beat this. Performing is all on, you know, is all second thought. It's something I really want to do. It's something I really look forward to. It's something I will do again. But this is first. And I know I'm going to beat this because I already see it. So I don't look for too long before I'll be out there playing funky music again and having a good time.